Okay, this is going to involve getting uh, on and off the camera a little bit, but we're going to go for it and have to edit out all the breaks and stuff like that. That's okay. I'll just try and get it done. Four different methods of hiving. There's some similarities in, in a few of them, and I'll go through the, just the basics of it and some pros and cons. So this is just a standard uh, Langstroth box. Uh, we typically set up all of our hives. If you could see the Arataki videos, talk about having some feed in the hives uh, to use for those resources. There's another video on making sure you have resources. So we've got that. Back in the day, this is back in the 80s prior to um, having the border closed. When we got box packages, we always had a deposit that we had to pay on, on our box packages, so we would charge it to the customers. And then you would get your box package back the next year, so we'd go around collecting all the box packages and uh, return them to the producer. And they would fill them up over the course of a few days, and then we would take those home. That's sort of the standard method. But now, since these are coming from Chile, there's no way we can afford or they can afford for these to go back, so there's basically no reason to keep the box. So instead of doing the old, uh, you know, flip it over and take everything at the top and just kind of bump them back and forth and bump them back and forth until you get uh, all the bees out, we're just going to go straight through the side. So just make sure that the can is loose. I'm going to give it a bit of a tap. And it's a little messy, but it's a little quicker. And it is warm this evening, so they don't like what I'm doing. That's okay. These queens have been in these packages for days now. So there should be no reason to not do a fast release. And there's candy in there, so we won't worry about that. Just punch a bit of a starter hole. And we'll get these frames in here, like so. Give me a sec. There are frames with pollen in here, but we're giving them a pollen patty anyways, just to add. Move that to the back. And a pail of feed. And that's done. So we're basically just gonna repeat the process now, except we're gonna do it into a six frame nuke. Uh, the advantage to a six frame nuke over a Langstroth box is that the bees, if you have any cold weather at all, have a far better chance of keeping this space at the correct temperature. So you're just giving them that extra shot. We were talking about before about giving them that giving them everything that they can or giving them the best opportunity to survive. Again, these were compromised packages. These came off a load that got to 46 degrees Celsius or about 115 Fahrenheit, which is way higher than bees should ever get when they're in a confined space. So,
those two methods there are essentially the same. Again, same thing, palm patty. And a pail. Okay. Now here's method number three. <coughs> this is another way you can do it. I'm not 100% that I like this way, but there is, it is a way that you can do it. Basically, we're fitting this package in this spot, so let's take up one more frame. Back inside. There we go. Now, in this case, we're basically going to do the same thing other than we're going to leave the box in. So, um, ideally, we'll just pull the, if we can, pull the strips off. Did I mention it's a little warm? beautiful day but if it was a lot cooler um, the bees wouldn't be as active clearly but we would also be risking on these next two specifically we would be risking the clean a little bit more so we're trying to avoid that stay put girls not quite ready They really don't like me. A smoker might have been a good idea, but we're going to go for it anyways. Now we want to get the queen out. And I'm getting crap kicked. place the box directly in the hive, put the screen open, move the queen over a frame, oh, fall on back, they're not liking me, I can feel them stinging in the hips, right through the pants. There you go. This is a method that is built basically specifically to help a hive that you believe is compromised where you got a problem with queen. So this one we're actually going to give a brood shot to. And this one involves nothing with the screens at all. We're going to pull out a sender frame. And we'll put back in the donor hive. A frame of brood primarily cap brood that we're going to put in the top. Move that off of this side. And we're going to plop this package right inside. So we do have to go in to get the, uh, the queen out. So we're going to pop as much of this as we can from the outside. the can and this one should hopefully it's still warm so they're not liking it but this one could be fairly um, less brutal less angry I don't know but we do have to give it a tap to get the queen get them off the queen and there Now we're going to do the same thing with this. Give it a starter hole. Put the queen down. In with the brood. Pinch her there. Put the lid back on. And Oh, I'm 
patty on either side of the queen. Detail. And that one is done. The pro to the Langstroth hive here is that now uh, I really don't have to do anything with it. That hive is going to expand in that same box. I'm going to have to do a queen check in seven days. That's about it. Take the field feed, feed, feed pail. That's, that's all I really have to do. Downside to the Langstroth as compared to the six frame is they are going to uh, be fighting cold more in the evening. So they have a bigger space. Um, the six framer here, uh, the, the, they, they'll be able to maintain their temperature better for the brood nest as they grow so that means they can fight shock root and everything else diseases wise so that's a better way for them to control their temperature less space to fill resources etc it just it, in, in many ways it's a, it's a better method for the bees themselves for the beekeeper that means i'm going to have to come back and move that into a larger box at some point in time if i want to go into production so those are kind of pros and cons between langstroth and six frame i actually do prefer the six frame for the bees themselves and since that's actually what it's about that's probably the better method but if you don't have them or you don't like the extra work go with the length truck this method again is not bad you saw how angry the bees got while doing it when it was warm so it's not necessarily a bad me bad method of doing it i think for me what i don't like about it is now i have to come back and i have to take this hive uh, i have to go in there and i have to pull those out it should take you see the queen is over by a frame and that to me again if there's a cold spell spell tonight that means that that queen is now exposed to cold temperatures if the bees don't come out. As hot as they were coming out of there right now, I don't think that's a problem. They should move over onto the frames. But if they don't, now I've got a queen that has been exposed to cold on top of being compromised originally by the flight. Over. So that's that's a riskier one to me. Uh, if you're working with warm pack, warm like warmer days and that kind of stuff, probably not a big deal. So I suspect that one's going to be fine. What I really like about this one here, and this is probably my favorite method for taking care of the bees is a uh, they don't have that large space even though I've got two boxes on it and I do have more air space more than a Langstroth even uh, they are able because of the width of this and the size of this they are able to keep the heat confined to the top so it, it's uh, so, so they'll still be able to maintain their temperature better than they would in a wide open Langstroth box just because of the way the heat rises and everything else I like the fact that I don't have to change the frames around to do anything i just have to take that bottom box and the cage out tomorrow they're going to climb out i like how calmly they i don't i don't have to rip open the cage to do anything just put them in there i guess the downside is i do have to come back and take that out in a day or two but realistically i could wait it wait probably seven days and then take it out they'll be in the top box they'll just go around that package and leave it so i also like the fact that putting the frame in there really gives the uh, package a boost gives them the best chance again for whether there's uh, a queen issue they've got ready eggs they can actually go and supersede from an egg immediately if they want to if that queen is damaged so that means that i'm going to have the same genetics that i already have in my operation in that hive so it's a way of saving a package or making the most of it again that frame of brood because that that hive is going to have a boost is probably going to go is, is going to be ahead of the other three just because of the fact that it has that frame of brood hatching out um so I'll probably get that frame of brood back at some point in time, make a new cut of it, or add it to another week's hive. So, I mean, I add it to one of these other packages. You never know. Anyways, so that's quick. Four different ways of hiving packages and some pros and cons to that. Hopefully that can be helpful for you in, uh, in general beekeeping, but if you're working with packages, hopefully they can be useful. Oh, you can hear already with the, with the wind. You're starting to calm down. That's nice. It's a beautiful thing. Anyways, like I said, these are compromised packages, so it's uh, a bit questionable. I'm, I expect that we're going to have to do some work with these uh, after afterwards to make sure that they have the best chance of making it through, and we'll see whether or not we've been able to keep them alive. Yeah. All right. Take care.